At NC State's Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, we are working to address major challenges facing society today. These include the challenges having to do with energy in our future uh, and health care, as well as economic development and manufacturing and jobs. Good examples of that are our two National Science Foundation Engineering Research Centers and a new Power America Manufacturing Institute. On Centennial Campus, uh, we are in a location where we have close collaborations and interactions and partnerships with industrial researchers as well as government researchers. And this sort of three-way partnership or collaboration helps us to address problems that are most significant and that are most likely to have impact and also provides us with the connections to transfer that new technology, that new knowledge into the marketplace. So with our research in the Assist Center, we are building wearable platforms that can really empower users, patients, and healthcare providers to monitor a person's wellness and really allow them to, to make decisions uh, that will improve their quality of life. Form fit in, in order to collect a clear signal. ASSIST stands for Advanced Self-Powered Systems of Integrated Sensors and Technologies. In the research that we are doing, uh, we are maximizing the power that's available from the human body, which is in the upwards of two to 300 microwatts. An example of that would be a sensor system that you wear that monitors your respiration or your EKG, and at the same time monitors, let's say, ozone in the environment. And if someone is an asthmatic, they can immediately understand if they're in an environment where their ozone levels are too high. Another key strength that we have is our students. We have outstanding students from around the world who come and help us address these problems. With these technologies, it's really a fantastic place for faculty, students, academic researchers from other organizations and industrial partners to come into this space, get their research done, and also build partnerships that can lead to future research projects. There are a variety of cutting edge technologies that are being uh, researched across the department. These include a smart transformer technology in the Freedom System Center that is going to enable us to incorporate renewable energy more easily into the grid. Freedom stands for uh, Future Renewable Electric Energy Distribution and Management Systems. Our objective is to modernize the power grid. The 300 amp one. How can we make the power grid smarter? So there are many different ways that this is being approached. We try to do it by uh, incorporating and enabling these power devices or power conversion devices with communication features so that they can talk to each other. And if they can talk to each other, then we will be able to better coordinate the control and manage the flow of energy within the system. The customer will have a say in the way the power is used or the energy is used in his or her home or how uh, they can also help the overall system become more reliable and resilient. As engineers, we're focused on trying to do work that has a significant impact on society. The research at the Freedom Center is important because we're totally changing the way we would deliver energy uh, at the power distribution side. We're developing these technologies that will drive the next uh, energy innovation ecosystem. Power America was formed as a uh, national initiative to improve uh, manufacturing in the United States. There's been a history of invention of wideband gap semiconductors and power electronics in the United States, and a lot of the manufacturing has gone offshore. So what we're trying to do is build stronger connections of how we invent and discover things here in the U.S., and then be able to take that and translate it into uh, jobs and uh, systems that will be smaller, lighter, and more power efficient uh, to save energy. So NC State has the leading program in the world on power semiconductor devices. And this goes back historically to first creating the Power Semiconductor Research Center in 1991. Wide band gap semiconductors allow us to hold very high electric field inside them, which means we can make devices that are capable of supporting higher voltages and also switching at higher frequencies more efficiently. And this translates into things like electric vehicles being able to go further on battery charge, uh, or wind bills being able to uh, convert the mechanical energy of the wind into electricity much more efficiently, or being able to build other renewable energy systems in a cheaper, more efficient way. The research at NC State is so important because it impacts our future in terms of energy, in terms of health, and ultimately it has economic impact. It helps to create jobs and grow the economy.